If it is useful to you, let me share a brief real life example that for me vividly illustrate the words, on my honor, I will do my duty to God. As boys offered kindness and compassion to a fellow scout. I was born with spina bifida, which is a birth defect that affects the, the spine. He's had quite a few surgeries. You know, we would do things in the hopes that it would improve his quality of life. As we looked at his scouting situation, the idea of taking him hiking, backpacking, and backcountry camping was a little bit daunting. I really wanted to participate in, in the hikes and the camping, and I knew it was going to be very hard because it can be hard to walk. Hang in there, Mitch. We issued a, a challenge to the young men. I challenged them to come up with a way that we could take Mitch with us, that he could do whatever we did. Our bishop had brought up the concern of how we were going to get Mitch to, to be able to come on these trips with us, and whether that was, was carrying him or you know, any other way. We, we just wanted to make sure Mitch was with us. Jonathan and his dad, Curtis, got together, and one thing led to another, and the Mitchmobile was born. And it was, it was wonderful. We went over to the Fenimore's house, and we actually spoke with Mitch's mom about it. And I just remember the, the joy that came over her knowing that we were able to include her son. Smile, Mitch. When I first found out about the Mitchmobile, I was very overwhelmed with gratitude and that they were willing to do everything they could to, to help me participate. From day one, before this ever happened, he was worried about being a burden. But as it progressed, I think he saw the blessings that it was to the others. And I think he was actually surprised by how much everybody wanted to help. I learned to accept it and I wouldn't have it any other way because it truly did bring us together. And I'm grateful for their willingness to bring me and to serve me constantly. I think he wishes that he could have been the one to carry somebody else in the Mitchmobile. But he learned very, a very valuable lesson as to what it means to allow other people to serve us. And if we don't allow that to happen to us, then how can others experience that wonderful blessing and opportunity? Well, I think that was the goal from the beginning, was to teach them that duty to God had to translate into real actions, the daily things that we did. Our duty to God is a, is a change of heart. It's a life, lifelong experience. It's becoming more like our Savior. So as we looked at this challenge, we realized that we needed our young men involved, that we needed them to see the vision of what we could accomplish. And when you do that, the whole program is lifted. Every young man is lifted. To know the love that those boys have for Mitch, to continue to include him and, and keep him involved was one of the most Christ-like Christ -like things I've ever seen in my life. I'd like you to meet the original cast. I'd like you to meet the original cast of the Mitch Mobile production. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Thank Thank you. This is Mitch Fenimore, and don't get any big ideas. He's already patented this thing, so... Uh... <laughs>
All the entrepreneurs can restrain themselves out there. Uh, Mitch and Jonathan, uh, who was, it was his Eagle project, uh, uh, Jonathan Knudsen, whose project it was to create this in the first place. You saw him on the screen. And friend and colleague from that troupe, uh, Sean um, Barnes, uh, who is uh, from Bountiful. All three of these young men are from the same troop originally, obviously. And now uh, the point that I'd kind of like to make is that it was not just duty to, God the, duty to God then coming on a decade ago, but they are still participating in their duty to God. Uh, Mitch is currently serving on his mission in Salt Lake City in the Family History Mission, and uh, Sean is serving here in San Diego uh, locally, and Jonathan is just back from Brussels, uh, all three continuing to uh, show their duty to God. I'd invite these three to just say a word to this congregation about uh, this lifelong commitment to your Father in Heaven. Mitch, do you want to say a word? So, I would say that the duty to God is not just a, a booklet or a thing that you fill out. Though I've completed that, I'm still doing my duty to God, and my mission right now is, is right now my duty to God. Thanks, Mitch. Jonathan? As Mitch said, you know, it's not just, it's not just that booklet. It is continuing on through the rest of your life. It is a lifelong work. Um, and one of the greatest opportunities I had, as Elder Holland mentioned, is I was able to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the Belgium, Netherlands mission, able to, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the wonderful people over there. And it's, it's just a wonderful experience to be able to continue on and, and help people realize that there is a duty to God and that we're able to share that message with everyone. Thanks, Jonathan. Sean? As, as I'm uh, here serving my mission in San Diego, um, not only helping people come closer to Christ and to God, but uh, duty to God is, to me, is truly through the people we serve as well, not just God, but lifelong service to um, our friends and our neighbors and even those that we meet on the street. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Proud of you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Mitch. Proud of you. Thanks, Jonathan. We'll excuse the team. <laughs> <laughs>